This is Born Again Catholic, and I'm back. It's been a long time. It's been a very long time, my friends. I've been super busy writing my novel like I said I was going to, and I finished it. And it's available for download on Kindle, and a paperback purchase is also available on Amazon.com. Now, this book is very special to me because obviously it's my debut novel, but not only that, because this is a book that I wish was available when I was younger. I've always liked movies like The Exorcist, uh, Paranormal Activity, The Conjuring. Um, so if this book was around, I would have picked it up. And I know I would have loved to learn more about Catholicism through this book. And so that's the objective of this book is for people who like those types of movies, but would never consider reading a religious book. Uh, perhaps you know someone like that, in which case this might be an excellent gift for them this Halloween. But without further ado, here it is, folks. I call it The Social Exorcist, A Pastor's Supernatural Journey to the Catholic Faith. It's about an anti-Catholic pastor who aspires to become a famous televangelist. But he's got a meager online subscriber count, so he's nowhere close to attaining his goal. So when a family approaches him about a potential case of demonic possession, he jumps on the opportunity, records the exorcism, and loves it, uploads it onto YouTube, launching his career to stardom. So with each questionable exorcism that he does, he attains more fame and fortune. That is until he comes across a true dragon of Satan, in which case he has to confront his anti-Catholic misbeliefs or risk losing the person that he loves the most. And that's what my book's about, folks. That's why I call it The Social Exorcist. As you can see here, we have sort of like a video player, a streaming live, and you have some emojis streaming on the side right here. You can see the rosary uh, held up by a protagonist. And then here you have the person that's demonically possessed. The story takes place in two locations in Colorado and Juarez, Mexico. Here's the back of the book. And you have a witch up here, una bruja. And uh, she plays a role in my story as well. So there it is, folks, the social exorcist a pastor's supernatural journey to the Catholic faith, available as a paperback and for Kindle download. I hope you enjoy the book. If you decide to purchase it for yourself or for someone that you love, that may be lukewarm Catholic, maybe a fallen away Catholic, but is probably um, interested in the paranormal. Thank you all. It feels good to be back. And I look forward to uh, making more videos. Have a good one, guys. Bye. Happy Halloween. The Social Exorcist, The Pastor's Supernatural Journey to the Catholic Faith Pastor Ed is an anti-Catholic pastor aspiring to become a famous televangelist. But with a meager online subscriber count, he's nowhere near close to achieving his goal. So, when a family approaches him about a potential case of demonic possession, Pastor Ed jumps at the chance and begins his journey to stardom. While he gains fame and fortune with each questionable exorcism, it isn't until he comes across a true dragon of Satan that he must confront his anti-Catholic misbeliefs, or risk losing the love of his life. The Social Exorcist, the pastor's supernatural journey to the Catholic faith.